We're live. We're live with our friends Sam and Matt. If you've been watching our videos for a while, you will have heard of them. We have gotten a lot of beers from them, although they are not beer drinkers. No. 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 You well, we see. are drinking beer. You know what actually looks like Matt actually has beer, but that's but not is, beer. This is what he's drinking. It's a little cider can. It's like a little baby. <laughs> Smaller than his beard. <laughs> you know, yeah, that kind I, of shit. I can't believe that Matt is drinking. I this. gotta pull up this the video. This is like the tiniest, tiniest little drink, and Matt is like the not tiniest guy. <laughs> Fair enough. And Sam is drinking wine, which is, you know, the white hey, girl thing to do. this is really the I'm tits. Basic. The tits wine. Apparently, yeah. Kurt so, is here. Hello, Kurt. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for always being supportive of our live video. Our Hi, Kurt. Oh, I, I have the sound on so you can hear us like yeah, being like replayed. It's awkward. So we're trying something new with this. We wanted to have other couples with Till Beardos part. So that's why it's called Till Bear Do They Part, even though they don't even like beer. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have other couples who do drink beer, but we're we're they're here. So <laughs> we're, 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 we're trying to work with they're what we got. Guinea pigs. So no. <laughs> it's also fun because we, we put something on Instagram. Saying, like, what questions do you have for them because they don't drink beer? Actually, I'm going to need to pull that up because I don't know. Oh, you, you do that. Now, we'll, we were talking about something right before we started this. And I wanted, oh, yeah. to, I wanted you to stop saying that until we actually got on the We've video. We have a whopping three people watching right hey, now. So you oh, we, were, we, were, we were talking about the fun finding beers. Finding beers. So yeah. it's okay. My Sam and I travel. A lot excessively they really do and so it's always fun to find something for somebody when you're traveling something they may not ever see and ever get and bring it back i mean most people like postcards we bring back beer and well other, and they just other alcoholic beverages they live in georgia right now so we live in illinois they live in georgia big difference so it is very exciting when they bring us back beer because it's definitely stuff we can't get so here. They brought us a couple of things, and I think we've tried to make a, a very good effort of reviewing the stuff they sent us, which is you sent from us from Scotland. Scotland. That we was did cool. an unboxing. We, we had the, the top out. The top that out. That was good. The yeah. innocent gun. It was like which, a jalapeno. We you, did an innocent gun review that got accidentally deleted. Yeah. What? That should have came out on YouTube, but it's we like did the Scotch hop. Yeah, that one came out. That, that one was good. We reviewed it. Like the, there was like a Guinness that we just. Trying on our own. Yeah, we posted it to Instagram one. and Twitter and shit. Yeah. That was, well, that, that that was, was the, the Guinness for an extra. Yeah. yeah. For an okay. extra stuff. That was super good, by the way. Drunken and One I, is here. Hello, Drunken One. Hi, Drunken One. And I actually had a glass from Jim. You, you know Jim. That right. beard is my lord and savior. Thank you, Kurt. The uh so the Jim and Aubrey okay, like, oh yeah okay okay they went to Ireland Some also friends. and he brought me back a Guinness glass so I had your Guinness, Guinness stout, stout in, his... in a Guinness glass nice so, I, so it was proper glassware which is a big deal people people make a big deal about proper glassware they do they really especially on the Instagram which let's get into our we only had two Instagram questions but let's get into the first one which I think is a very important one what can craft beer drinkers do to include non-craft beer drinkers so we just forced you to go to poor bros yeah which we, is like we really to craft go to a you pour it kind of system and that question came from hoppy wife hoppy life another beer couple so what can we do what can craft people do to be more inclusive to people who aren't into it i don't know i mean We've known you guys, well, we've known Dan almost 10 years now, and you, as long Three. as you guys have been married a little mm -hmm. before, and I've just, I've never, I mean, hard liquor all day long till tomorrow. Um, my wife, Sam, big into wine. I mean, just about anything in wine. Um, You're drinking a cider right now, so you but, always obviously like ciders. So, it, it, so, so ciders, I, I like kind of the sweeter ciders and things like that. But as far as more inclusive, I don't. You can't. In, it, it, it's it's, it's, it's a lot of just a hey, try this. Okay. Or it's I mean like going to Poor Brothers where you bought the. We got uh, them a Berliner style hop, tea infused. Hop Senta. Hop yeah. And, pretty hop good. And tea. Hop, hop and tea. tea from 
Perennial. Perennial. And it was really good. It was a little, a little sour. It was a little yeah. Sour. It was a little too sour it for a Berliner. It was a little too sour for a Berliner, but, but we, we like shared it. I, I and, could actually tolerate it. But you were talking Berliner. about how you had a beer in Germany, yep. right? Where they mix the, the fruit juices straight with their yeah. rice beers. So it's more so. like a Rattler kind of thing. And I don't know, maybe like, I think the European craft beer industry and the American craft beer industry, like America is America. It's going to be like more hops, better. Yes. Donald Trump, huge. Like you that kind of thing. Don't say Donald Trump too much. About Jenna. I don't want to be associated cool. with that necessarily. <laughs> I'm just I mean, saying. I want to be apolitical. So but, let's but just like a, like a hops way. thing. So I, I don't like chewing my beer. Oh, I, I don't like and see the hate grass. praises in and, and that's that's that's, that's been like you want it thin. I'm 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 a traditional. Give me a Bud Light or a, a oh. Yingling. Oh, I mean, Yingling! Just, though. A, a Yingling. Respect Yingling. Like a Yingling Lager. I mean, you just Trump. just a a, <laughs> a a basic. We don't like Trump. working just man drinking beer. Working and that's yeah. that's where a working man like a lot of the craft beer scene like we're You've just been saying in Georgia too long dude. has has gone to exotics sure. and, oh, and I think sure. I think sure. that's one thing where a lot of guys like me are being and not left behind left behind isn't the right term but they're put out there's there's nothing there's not a light nobody's doing anything with light pilsners well you'll I really mean, like where we're going tomorrow we're gonna go to Riggs. Which is in Shambana, Champaign Urbana, for those of you who do not live in Illinois, where you University of Illinois is. And Riggs does a lot of lager European style, style beer. beer. So they, okay. they're Riggs, all they do. They're Riggs lager, like just a straight up lager. I love it, but it's definitely more like the traditional working man kind of beer that you're looking for. But it's also not flavorless, which I think Bud Light is. So. It's definitely like a a nice middle ground. I think you you guys you guys will enjoy it. It's it's a good place. We've never been there. How could you say that? Because I've had so many of their beers on draft <laughs> from other places. Like we've never actually been to the brewery, but we've I've had their Heffa, I've had their Dunkel, I've had their straight up Blogger. They have a wine tap. That's Poor Rose. Oh. Poor Rose in Champagne has you pour it wine. That's going to be a big Which deal. Which is going to be a big deal. Well, we don't really talk about anything the else. Party other Source than... is also here. Happy New Year to the Party Source. Happy New Hi, Year. Party Source. He said Happy New Year. Oh, okay. I'm reading the comments, so Sorry. I get to tell I, you. I can't see that. I'm just looking right at you. Yeah. Friend, we're friend having to do the there. wide angle, so we can't not see the comments from Dan. Yeah, Lizzie's got them here. I've got them here on my phone, and I am not paying attention. Sometimes they have How conversations. How about a nice Pilsner? Do you guys like... we? is. I mean, not a nice pilsner. It's just a pilsner. <laughs> Do you like Miller? Because we can agree with Miller. Yes and no. Oh, you're the, from Wisconsin. You're supposed to like I, Miller. I know. I don't even like beer. Oh, Sam's well, over here. Like I got my. That's wine. not true. You kind. You like I can. You can find you like, like cider sours and, and, and sours meats. Well, I mean, and cider. Meat is cider is not beer. No, meat is good though. I love meat. Meat is great. Meat Red is apple good. ale is kind of. Shitty. A mix. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, where were you going to go with that? I didn't know. Well, they like, isn't it different than most ciders? Or, like, where know. ciders, they kind of like, I don't know. There's different, like, I know, like, breweries can't make meats because it's technically like you need a wine license. It's, it's uh, because the ABV is so much higher. Uh, a lot, breweries get around that by doing what they, they call it a braggot. And it's a, it's, it's like a, a beer mean. that has 50% honey in it. That's what we That's the okay. most they can do illegally. I went to Savannah Bee Company and they actually had, Rod J Beer um, Ventures is also here. Hello, hey, Rod. Rod. Hi, Rod. They do theirs now where they actually pour them from the tap and they've got like the, the bubbles to them and they're more like a, a beer. They're doing them more like a draft That's beer it. with hops and That's stuff. Cool. So. I mean, I love, we all know I'm a hop head. So I'm like drinking everything. my yeah. mosaic we pale ale that we drinking? did not drink. We went over what they're drinking. Okay. Which is not beer. So I am wine drink- and cider. I am drinking Whispering Scythe, which I had posted on Twitter. Uh, this is over actually the, really good for a holiday. straw ale. So this is from the Fermentorium, and I think that's in Cedarburg. From Cedarburg, you know where Cedarburg is. I know where it's at. Yeah, 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 yeah that, they're from there. Uh, it is a strong ale brewed with rye, yeah. and it's a it's a nice little spicy spicy it's, ale. And it's not even that spicy. Like it's got a good 
kick of flavor from the rye. It's but smooth. It's also very smooth for a strong ale. Sometimes the strong ales are too strong. You would think smooth and spicy wouldn't go together, but somehow this does. I well, it'd, very it'd be like getting into a rye whiskey, though. I mean, mm -hmm. a, a, oh, I like, like, that's like why you I like and I were talking rye. about earlier with, with Bullet. A, like yeah. a Bullet rye whiskey is fantastic. Oh. It's It's finding the right... No, go ahead. Definition or right <laughs> balance between like the, the corns for the sweetness and the rise for the, the spicier oh, and, and the, the spice on the backside. Yeah. Yeah. We don't, like I said, we don't review any hard liquors or anything on this channel. Oh, although I, there's a lot of peer, well, beer bullet people rye. have moved into that. Dan likes bullet rye. Yeah. I like rye whiskey. That's the only. That's although someone, sure. Kurt did say apples. Red's apple ale, why God, why? <laughs> Thank you, Kurt. That's what I Thank said. I said Although, yeah. if I have to drink a cider, I'm probably there's a, a cider I'm going to drink probably Red. There was a good one from Iowa. Who is it? Scrumpy? Don't. No. Eight Brothers? AJ? Nope. Mm, I don't know. Dan doesn't know, but there was one from Iowa, you know, there's a, the great state of Iowa. There's a there's a cider company in Iowa that is actually really good. Do they grow anything like they corn in Iowa? And soybeans? Yeah, it's, no, corn, it's, it's grow corn, corn cider. They the corn grow the corn. Cider. I'm kidding <laughs> about that, by the way. The, in, the soy corns. In Georgia, soy you cider. learn Oh, God. It's soy cider. Really beer because they either have beer or they have red apple ale. That's the only cider they know. Oh, okay. Like legit. At least we have a little bit of variety, especially now with the law change where breweries can have guest cider taps or before they couldn't. Oh, and, they either had to be something they did. Yeah, it had to be something or, they did themselves or some kind of special ex exemption kind of thing. Exemption. But yeah, I like that word, exemption. Anyway, yeah, so I think. Is there the, another question? There was one other question, but it's a goofy one, and I. Do not know if you guys will. I don't get the question. I might, maybe Matt, maybe Matt, Matt might, might get the question. I, get it. I don't know. Who wins at Wrestle Kingdom? Do you know Wrestle Kingdom? Do you understand what that is? Because I don't. I don't know. What I think Kurt, okay. I think Kurt. That was you. That was Kurt who asked it. You might need to elaborate. Who wins at way. Wrestle Kingdom? Omega or Tanahashi? I'm assuming that Wrestle Kingdom is some like nerds. it's like some. Video like game? late, no, I was no, thinking of some like late night like, cable yeah. wrestling oh, show. I thought it was like final, like final, like Mortal Kombat. Like I like show. the question because I don't know what it is. <laughs> we do I elaborate. Like that I gotta go back to the YouTube app so I can get more information now because I went to the Instagram to get the questions. Did you ever watch wrestling as a kid? I watched a little bit. I mean, I, I think as far as wrestling oh. goes, I've always liked the UFC a lot better oh. or the MMA. Okay, so there have been a couple people who've joined us since we started live. So these are our friends, Matt and Sam. They do not drink craft beer because they are drinking wine and cider. But they're our friends, and they've sent us a lot of beer. So they're here. They're the kinds <laughs> of friends that you guys should be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, basically, if you send they us a beer, us beer, you could be on our show. And they're on our show now. And is you guys could oh, be that's like that's a good that. question. Just okay. be better. Kurt also wants to know, is Georgia still no booze on Sunday? No. no they, so <laughs> it used to be 1230. at 1230 it could start. And in the last, what was it, November election, this this past election okay. for the midterms, they changed it to 11 o'clock. I'm not entirely sure on when it goes into effect, but it was it was something like 70% of the voter turnout said, yes, we need to start drinking earlier. So I mean, you can't start. Drink, it, you can't drink all day unless you start in the uh, morning. About the, about the only people who would vote it down on principle would be the closet Baptists, but we all know those are the biggest drunks out there. Kurt said New Japan. I'm assuming that refers to the question. Oh, dogs are acting up. I mean, that's like every video, but when we have company, it's a little more serious. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that was a good question because I don't know how the, the beer laws are different well, from Georgia. To Auburn, just in Alabama, allowed beer on Sundays at noon. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it was it was kind of weird moving from the Midwest where beer is especially from Wisconsin. Yeah, is, Wisconsin was, loves was, uh, their daytime hobby. <laughs> Yeah, that's, was, their, uh, that's a national hobby of Wisconsin is drinking. It was a much a, larger part of the culture i mean you go out and you drink every night that's just kind of i mean college was that we, way so work was that way i didn't oh wait hold on dan i think the video stopped oh, that does happen 
No, it's there. It is? Okay, oh, yeah. sorry. Sorry. I somehow got paused and I was like, oh, fuck. Just like that. I'm you can't my see face. that. We're on live TV. <laughs> Oh, we've I, been told we've been accused of using <clears throat> floral language. <laughs> floral. I know. I was like, if we ever make a beer, we're gonna call it floral language. Like, I like. I look. respect the person who said that. I think they were trying they to be were, very polite. They were trying to be nice because they're like, we love your video, except for the the belching and the use of floral <laughs> language. And the like, belching is not even me. Yes, yeah. that's me. <laughs> Honestly, both of them are me. <laughs> if we just got me off the sh off of this, Dan would be. The most, boring, the most boring YouTube videos ever. Where are you guys located? If you don't know, we are in Peoria, Illinois, which is central Illinois, it's not the Chicago. Middle of, middle of nowhere. It is the middle of nowhere. It's but it is not Chicago. Excuse me, dog, who is behind the camera. Get off the counter. Coco. Don't get dogs. They'll ruin your life. Coco. Friends don't let friends get dogs. Coco. Friends don't forget. Come here. Although these friends like to love on our dogs because they don't have any. So Matt and I actually knew each well, actually Sam too, but we all knew each other from college. They all knew each other from college. I was not here for and this. And then Lizzie had to butt in, you know, yeah, that whole that whole marriage thing is. So look, Matt She's Matt and I always have so has some really good stories together. But most of them don't involve beer, sadly. No, they don't. But they do involve <laughs> they copious <laughs> amounts of other liquors. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so that is that is the best part because I'm like listening to all these stories from their college days, just going, "Oh God!" There was a couple that involved some. Beer, Don't get they... demonetized from our floral language. We're not even. We're monetized. not monetized. <laughs> Don't you worry. We do this for all of the shits and, and the most of the giggles. <laughs> no, I would say most of the shits and all of the giggles <laughs> instead of the other way around. But definitely not for the money. No, definitely not no. for the money. In fact, we maybe may, for the free beer, we do get some free beer, but definitely not for the money. I mean, free beer, viral. free beer, and the fact that they send us beer sometimes. Yeah, like these, these free people, free kind folks. people like these kind folks will send us free beer, and we're like, oh, well, okay. I wouldn't say free beer. It's a, it's, it's friendship it's, beer. It's a friendship fee. It's a friendship, <laughs> friendship it's, tax. It's, it's, it's no payment on lodging and and other yeah. goods and services. Right that we take them tacos. out, and give them tacos, and. <laughs> wine yeah if, if you're ever in peoria cayenne awesome restaurant yes we have a what is it, what would you even call it it's not non, like a non-traditional non -traditional mexican non -traditional, restaurant non-traditional tacos yeah non-traditional tacos and i mean who doesn't love tacos you guys are only five hours from me says the party source I thought you were in New Orleans for some reason I, yeah i don't know why we thought you were so far i know south. i think it's just like the little logo that he has that sounds it's very like colorful. Road trip. Where are they from? Hours. Yeah, where are you from, Party Source? Please comment down below give us so a we can region. come visit you. I mean, if you really want, give us your address, but no, <laughs> it's the internet, so Kurt be said cautious. What? I'm assuming that's to the fact that we aren't monetized. <laughs> I, I mean, we yeah. agree. Well, they changed the, so they changed they the, change the monetization thing a couple, I don't know, about a year right ago. Before we started don't you have to YouTube? have a lot more subscribers? It's like, they like Enough tripled views. It. It's like, like tripled. they tripled the views, oh. the subscribers, and we got a lot of views, just not as many subscribers. I think we have five times as many views as we do subscribers. Like people well, watch that's us. That's normal though. Well, we're, that's normal. Yeah, but they don't, they don't subscribe. You'll so have to send your website. website. <laughs> You'll have to send Dan and Lizzie your Cincinnati. address in a private hmm. message, and then yeah, get Cincinnati. on there. Cincinnati is good. Hey, that Ryan, Ryan guys, oh, get on there with your guys. distribution list. Yeah, I mean, so we went to Columbus not too long ago. We had a good time there. We had the opportunity. We got our. We went to Columbus because we got our cool little trophy. I don't know if you've seen this. Yeah, I don't know if we've shown this, but this is our trophy from when we went to Brewdog. Yeah, Brewdog and gave won us this uh, little trophy this here. engraved. That's our names and our our beer review geek. Did you know that? If yeah. you didn't know that about us, so basically we're like the coolest person. Hey, so like odd question, how do they how can we, a double A be only we submitted ourselves? Oh okay. cheers from Texas. Ooh, Texas, I like Texas. That's drunk where drunken one is north of Houston. Yeah. Houston's a good city. He's Except sick. in the summer. I mean, it's kind of like Georgia. It's hey, just... Logan used to live there. He said it was awful. Like, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> we know someone who said it was and awful. And he's oh, been showers. to New Orleans before. Skip the showers because awful. you walk outside and it's like... Right, guys, just New Orleans is... Uh, 
New Orleans was nasty too. Yeah. Orleans, There's gotta be other ones besides Brian Day in Cincinnati. Though. So how can a double IP only be 30 IBUs? I don't know. What is a double? I don't remember. I don't think this is. I don't know what we're talking about. But this one is like it's a strong meal. It's only 16 per 16 IBUs. It's so very it's so smooth. IBU. For our non-beer people, it's an IBU. Oh, it international bittering unit. So like IPAs are generally really high IBUs. That's so, the hoppy. The hoppy so, show. So does so it say that hops, only on a can? This or one, just, no. Some of them do. So like this Maybe. one says 8% alcohol, 16, 16 IBUs, one pint. So 16 is really low. So like from zero to, you could usually, say 100. Usually it's 100. You can go beyond 100, but it's generally not. You can't actually verify beyond 100. Beyond 100. Lots of malt. That's less actually hops. not very hoppy. No, no. That's, that's why. That's why it's only. 16. And that, I think talking about like it to be more good, inclusive to craft beer drinkers. I mean, right now, hoppier you can taste the better. The rye in it, though. You can taste the rye, but <coughs> you sure. can't. It's not. That, that's. It's not bad. What's up? What's the back note though? It's. What does it say? Here, read uh, that. Because I, 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 I hit the rye, but I'm not. You th did. There's something. something villain, else. villain, deep a uh, uh, double IP only. Hit. It's, what? It's no, it kind of caramely. Does it? No, I don't taste caramel. No. But I'm not a big beer drinker. It's, so. it's it's the malts mostly. It's okay. the malt. It's the malts that you're tasting. So, so. either the rye or some but of the rest of rested like caramel bar barley. Nice not to get punched in the face by hops. I think that's the thing. Like we're talking about, like including non-craft beer drinkers, and I think lately, like the hops. I mean, even in the hazy uh, beers, they're still deal. pretty. I think like that's the difference between ours and European beers is that we are like more hops, more flavors. America and is really intent on having intense flavors and aromas. That's a whereas fact. Europe's are a little more mild, and I think more palatable to the craft non-craft beer drinker. So the thing with I do say so myself. I mean, the th there's three, four main ingredients in water. No, <laughs> no that's not what I meant to say. I mean, you can say there's three four molecules, main ingredients but in beer, right? Uh, okay, there you go. They used to think it was three, but it's actually four. So you have water. That's kind of the most important one, actually. And you got malt. Water and hops, is the most important. And then yeast, which is the one they didn't know, because that's what makes beer beer, right? They didn't know that though. So for hops, Dan's read a lot of books. Because he's a nerd. Shut That's up. What I saw there were a whole bunch of them in the <sighs> beer books. God, you're embarrassing me. Now we know what to get them besides beer. Just more beer. Just more beer. So the hops can do two things. They can make it bitter or they can give it like an aroma. And the yeah. IBUs is part of that. Because some of them like smell really bitter, but then they're a little less bitter on the taste. And some of them don't smell bitter and then they eat are really better and then some of them are both there's so many like, there's you know hundreds of different kinds of hops now so each one of them has a very different well it's kind of like each each yeast strain i mean every brewery has got they do own it's they do strain you are right to, and i mean distilleries are the same way it's excuse me my hand's coming we, back yeah, i was about to be like we don't do that we just burp <laughs> but it's i mean the the yeast is and if you ever get a chance, good. What's the okay. and I, I'm I'm stuck on the whiskeys and the bourbons because that's mm -hmm. just it's kind of my jam. But like the whiskeys and the bourbons, the brewmasters or the master distillers, they in the olden days they would take a jug of yeast home with them. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. So that way, if there was an explosion or a fire or something happened to the distillery. <coughs> or it was like prohibition they, and like they got well, caught. We don't make whiskey anymore. We don't make whiskey but, but, here. But they, they, they could continue to produce because yeah. the yeast was as important, if not more important, than the corns and the grains oh, and everything else. Get because, those any day. because, I mean, you certain corn, so a corn from Iowa is going to have a different fr flavor profile. Than a corn from Nebraska, corn from Iowa, corn, corn from, from Illinois, Illinois, Kentucky. I mean, all the way down through Illinois, Illinois, and so. No. No but else. having the yeast is what really drives the characteristic flavor. Oh, absolutely, especially so, in like really yeasty beers like Belgians. That's like the most important part of the beer is actually the yeast. The yeast. 
Like it's I would the yeast, the yeasty so, boys. There's a beer called yeasty, yeasty boys. boys. So we have a restaurant chain in our um, area that names things after like we have one called sugar, cracked pepper, cayenne. There was one called salt. Like they have all these different time. ones. Time. And then they opened like they bought out a, a brewery here in Peoria. And I was for <laughs> sure. So we went there today. We went to industry. Industry brewing here in Peoria. It's great beer. But I for sure thought they were going to name it yeast. <laughs> I was like, that would be so great. Let's name a be- a brewery yeast. No. Do we have any other questions? No, we don't. But there are five people watching. So keep watching. Hi to all five people. Hi, five people. I think one of them's oh, me. Oh, man, I had a question that I was going to bring up. And what brewery is this? Industry in Peoria. If Wait, that's- That does what? That I thought should be named yeast. Oh, yeah. It's called industry. It does have some good stuff. They don't do anything. They don't do a lot of new stuff. They've had like the same few beers since they opened a year ago. They do have a couple like they do a couple they, like, new ones every beers. Friday. Yeah, like new beer Fridays where they do like a oh. test batch. Coco is whiny. Oh. If you heard that, she's like, she's there sick. are people here and I love them. She's also hungry. It's probably time for her to eat, but she can wait. Yeah, they they have a really good porter, really good hazy APA. Oh, Matt, you're almost done. Do you need another one? Yeah. He little, needs, uh, he's no, little, I'm he's good. Baby rose setters. is left. Oh, Rose, rose all day. Basic F. Basic F. We double shotgun wedding from Country Boy. I don't, I don't know what that is. Party source well. reviews. Is I, it a I'm assuming. I'm thinking it's the name of a beer. That so, sounds otherwise, you just beer. like have a double shotgun wedding. That sounds <coughs> awkward as fuck. Maybe that's what they're drinking. We're I think, Can we be serious though? Did Beer Geek Nation quit because you guys are so awesome? Wow. Oh, no, I oh I used no, to watch I them all the time. So. They were so good. No, I don't. I don't There's, think that's the case. They, they were ahead of their time. If they would be reviewing, if they would have started reviewing like two or three years ago instead of like they'd six, be like, they. They would have skyrocketed. I know they have like 40, 40 or 50,000 subs, but. And we have 300. 300 which yeah. we are grateful for. It's not about the subs. But it's, it's not about the subs. It's about the experience. Yeah, we do this because we like to do it. Yeah, we do. We like to drink. Because we like to coerce other people to do it with us. Drinking is fantastic. Yeah. They didn't really have a choice. No, we basically, oh, you're coming into town? We're going to do a video. You kind of have to be. We had it. thought about doing this type of video for a while, and they just oh, happened okay. to be the first victim. I dribble. A dribble. Oh, okay. party foul. Why is my voice like? You got a lot of dribble. Oh, no. I'm fucking off. I don't know. Oh, my voice is just like, hi. And this is the video that never ended. Well, so I had a thought about Georgia and Georgia beer. So you, you, you do some work for like a a beer marketing company right so you, but one of your clients is ends up being like a like a they do beer and wine and yeah and so they're a liquor store they're called the bottle shop now their their premise is to get the rare and unusual and we that's kind that. of where you've gotten some of the some of the new, more unique stuff for like that I yeah played. a couple of things i think we've got for you mm-hmm. so we have something on the counter and we're gonna do a review for it here in the next two-ish weeks probably maybe a week and a half something re- like that don't don't ruin it matt Jeepers. yeah don't ruin it matt Give him a but we can tell you that it is from terrapin and it's a pretty cool beer and it's gonna be a new brew tunes yeah so I was like, can we at least tell them it's gonna be a brew tunes we haven't done a brew tunes in a while and no we that's like our favorite series to do because we love music too now we're not like stereo heads or whatever you want to call it like, I, I like audio files. Music. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I like high fidelity oh. music, but I'm not like a like I'm not listening okay. to music like new music all the time. Can you guys just check real quick? Like, I'm worried it's because it like just showed you back coming back from the bathroom. No, okay, saying, all right, guys. So the taste. Kurt wants to know. So the taste, the taste of what? What? The okay. cider was pretty. That good. one was a bad. The wine is always fantastic. Here, what is hold yours? on? Try mine. Let me okay. wipe the lipstick off. <coughs> there is You're not no gonna beer, like it. No beer drinker going in for it's it. It's a mosaic pale ale. Having not done, wait, where's I going with this? I don't know. Having having watched oh. a few, yeah, I'm all. Having, <laughs> he's not even gonna try it because she knows she doesn't like it. It's actually pretty good. Though. I know. Oh. Like, it's pretty good. We think it's pretty good. 
crap. It's a very, it's a very strong idea. Get all my ugly faces let me, in here. Let me smell it. Okay. Don't do it. <laughs> it's hoppy. Oh. That smells like I cut my grass. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm. Mm. I, okay, I get it. Like that's. I like and that. I, I smell think though. that's. <coughs> that's where the hiccups. It stops. To, to go from like a Bud Light or a Miller Light or a, a Yingling or a PBR to something oh, like PBR. that. Oh, PBR. So yeah, I, I don't drink PBR. Okay. But if anyone has watched our domestic beer series, they know how I feel about PBR. Let's see the comment here. You're not live. I am live. No. Oh, well, I was. Here's the comment, though. Have you guys had anything from Black Acre? No spoilers. Okay, no spoilers. No, we have not. Parties we have not had anything. Where in Illinois is that? Because we don't know. It sounds like it's something either Eastern or Southern. Which we've been Eastern, but not Southern very much. Because be we're like in, in Peoria, we're basically right in the center of the state. So we don't get too far south because that's basically northern Kentucky. They're all southern <laughs> down there. They have accents. They talk for me. Yeah, that's. I mean, even, what are y'all talking about? Even, yeah, they do say that. Oh, they say y'all. They say y'all. <laughs> that's what y'all are here in the south. We have a city called Washington, and some people will call it Washington. And I just can't. We're north of the Mason Dixon line here, and people still say we Washington. were part of the Union. <laughs> <laughs> we we were part of the. Part of the country that won the war. Sorry if you're offended by that, but actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> Full women owned and operated. Awesome brew. Yes, I That's like that. Deal. That's a big that deal. That is a big deal nowadays, especially with that. There was a lawsuit in California. They had a women's forum for beer, and some guy who basically just like he's a troll. He's a professional troll. He sued them because he was denied access to their women's forum by accident it wasn't intentional and he got like they settled because they just didn't want to have to deal with him That's so he got, was litigious like, he got a shit ton of money i didn't think that was eagle rock what's d-i-o i should know what that is i should know what that is but that's what that is. that's what beer geek dude used to say no spoilers now what are no spoilers oh because you were gonna go get that beer oh okay. That beer that we're going to review. Oh. You can't oh. tell them. We will tell you. We've reviewed a, we have done a Brew Tunes by the band, by the same band before. You're, you're almost, really like spoiling some how many, shit How here. many Brew Tunes are out there? Maybe it's That we've eight, done? Eight, ten? No. No, total. Even. Oh. Total? No, we're the only ones who does. That's our That's thing. Our thing. That's our thing. Oh, I think okay. other people do it, but we call, we're the only ones who call it. But but how many, teams. how many, I guess how many different oh, there could be hundreds. Oh, yeah. oh, oh drunk D I O. Drunken one. Wow. Wow, drunken one. I am really sorry. Whoa. We've been drinking. We've been drinking since noon. <laughs> so we would have been drinking in the morning if Lizzie had woken up. If we'd have gotten here earlier. Yep. I think I Nope, never mind. Nope, we didn't start because we didn't have lunch until afternoon. So that's yeah, we, we left beer. for like lunch uh, at noon, and that's when we got started. Been drinking beer. all afternoon. Think about what PBR is, though—a bargain-priced American adjunct beer. Like that just sounds shitty to me. <laughs> See, but again, that sounds it's, terrible. It's, but it's back to your working man. You can stop by the gas station, pick up a six-pack for. Five bucks. Oh, that's a fun fact about Peoria. So we actually don't live quite in Peoria, but one of the little areas around Peoria actually used to have a PBR factory here. And so there's still a lot of former Old factory working former folks. employees that, you know, they still go into our favorite place, poor bros. Poor bros. And they go in there See, and they order a PBR because that's I what they that's made while they were there. also the problem too, because you get these people get into craft beers and they get so specific and oh, they, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, Oh my God, why there's, are you drinking this? There's nothing to bridge the gap. Yeah. She used to be like that. She used true. to be like mad at people. And she oh, I get so them. mad, but we did our domestic beer reviews <coughs> and there were a couple that I was like, okay, I can see why people would drink this. Cause it's all, but not PBR. It's all palate based. Definitely like, not PBR. Well, you, you smell this one. You're like, Ooh, it smells like fresh cut grass. Now when I moved to, when I moved here, I was not a fan of IPAs at all. I was like, it's like, 
I eating helped. a Christmas tree. I helped. Now, yeah. I knew that it was such a big part no. of the market that I literally had to force myself to just keep trying to drink them, even though I didn't think I was going to like them. And eventually I got to the point where I was like, okay, these aren't bad. And then I got to the point where I was like, oh, these actually are pretty good. I still like my porters and my stouts and my brown ales Your better, but I still can figure out how to enjoy that. I can't even figure out what that tastes like. Yum. So I shouldn't mix this. Um, it's it's like know. a mixed green salad. Party Sorcerer Dude like. says he has a coworker who loves hams with a passion, Ham, which hams, I've never had. Hams was a, a good good college drink and beer. You could pick up a 30 pack for like 15 bucks. I like Schlitz. I do like Schlitz. Schlitz was about the same. Yeah, everybody, it's a palate thing. We did that one, and I was like, I like Schlitz. Schlitz well, like, was not as good as I wanted it to Hams be. is well, damn good for the price. Yeah. Bingo. Even with Hams wine, though, is from the land of the sky blue water. What was that? It's the commercial that they had oh. in the 60s. <laughs> well, like, even hey, with they used to make hams at uh, Perth. Perth's trying to say that for super cheap beer, PBR is solid. I cannot agree with you on that. I could not, dis- I could not disagree more with you. I, yeah, no. It tastes like it is like with Keystone Light. Like it is in the same category no, to me. They taste like pond water. It tastes. It gets the job done though. It does not taste great, <sighs> but it does double. have a lot of flavor. Like double the alcohol. So whatever that means. Double the alcohol, double the flavor. High I'll drink name. this. Highlight the champagne of beers. Has a did you see they did flavor. like a champagne bottle? I did for see that. that. that did I'll a, get that. We actually did a review of a... A beer that was using a wild <coughs> beer, so it was sour, using the recipe of Miller High Life, but with a different yeast. Yeah, a wild yeast to make it sour. So the that was really good. The two like the high life, like the head brewer for high life knew the head brewer for this other off color. Yeah, off color. That's right. And they did a collaboration. It was basically high life, but sour, like a funky, a funky high life. It was so good. It was actually pretty good. So a good. Fun, a sour. That'd be like it's a not skunk sour. No, it's not skunky. It's like tart. Tart. Yeah, kind of sweet. <coughs> No, it was good. It was good. Just I'll sh- take your word for it. Your version of sweet is different than this version of sweet. I mean, I love this. So. I love this. This is one that sucks to not be able to edit because when I do like this, it's like ding. Yeah, we can do all the sound effects and <laughs> cut all the shit we don't. I kind of like doing this because it's I don't have we don't neither of us have to edit. That have you good. heard of? I'm losing my voice. Fritz cuffs. It's a pilsner. I have not heard of that. So maybe you and your drunken Wisconsin night. I, I don't know this one either. Sounds good, though. There's so, there's so many beers out there. I don't know how anybody could expect Lizzie or I to just know everything. I well, mean, there's a lot uh, of big names but out we there should. for sure. But, Get a dictionary. You know, there was a time, maybe Google. a couple of years ago, where I literally thought that I could have every beer that was on Untapped. I was literally worried about running out of beers at Untapped. What was that, I like five no, years ago? I am no longer worried. I think we've hit 7,000 breweries now in the country. I am worried we? that I am never going to be able to try Coco. even half of the beers that are there. Coco. Apparently, Kurt doesn't like hams, but I I mean, Schlitz is definitely better than hams. It's, this is definitely it's a, oh, it's a palate something. thing, though. Oh, actually, it didn't. Like, they did it with wines, bad. too. Like, you people who it. supposedly drank, like, small A's or whatever that drank $100 bottles of wine. They, like, taste tested them, and they still do no. cheap wine because it tasted good. The dogs are being, well, the dog. One of them is being really nice. The, the big one that we that can't just jump on our laps. She's being she's annoying. Hungry. Yeah, she's hungry. Probably hungry and needs her medication. <laughs> Mostly the first one, the hungry. She's hangry. I mean, like most women. Mm-hmm. She's, yeah, a hungry bitch. So what's everybody who's listening's favorite non-beer drink? Drink. Alcohol drink. Alcohol, Alcohol drink. drink. Don't that's say not. That's a good question. Yeah, that's a great you question. You guys ask us questions all the time. We need to ask you a question. Favorite alcoholic non-beer drink? Go. It can't just be a, well, it could just be a hard liquor, I guess. That's fair. The hard liquor or wine or whatever. Just I not even, beer. Like, hell, even a budget beer. Yeah, or Why not. 
Well, well yeah. There's gotta be something that you buy when you go buy in case of what's, it. What's what's your go to when you walk? Well, out okay. On a Friday you pur- pretty source bourbon and cocktails. Okay, what yeah. bourbon though? Yeah. You gotta be more specific. You have to have a bourbon. Drunken one said seven and seven. Oh, there good. you there go. go. That's very specific. That's I like that. That is a specific one. I've never that's had a, that. What is that a, exactly? I've heard of it, but I don't know. Seven up. And seven up. Seeker and seven seven up. That's a is that that's a blend whiskey or is that a Canadian whiskey? Mm-hmm. I think it's a Canadian I think it's, whiskey. I think it's Seagram's is Canadian, isn't I it? I thought so. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know if it's a single or a blend, though. I think it's a blend. I think it's a blend too. But. Where is Pupper? Well, she's big, so she can't. She can't. Oh, Dan's gonna oh. make it happen. Here she is. Cool, cool. Here's the. Oh, Drunken One said blended. Blended what? Oh, blended, blended is for the seven and seven. There she is. She's she doesn't like to be in the videos as much as the little one does. No, she just wants to be little near us. Hiding. She just wants to be, be near us and like let us know that she's hungry. Gus, gus. I work with the single barrel program, so that's a hard choice. As far as Wh- bourbon and which cocktail. single barrel? Uh Secret? party yeah. source said that. So that was the one where he said bourbon and cocktails. Okay. So we want to know what bourbon. So you're just like bourbon. I will have now. to say Elmer T. Lee. I have not heard of that. I've not heard of that. I don't know about a bourbon. Where's that out of? I'm not a bourbon person. I say, we're Southerners. Where's that out of? (laughs) Now they're Southerners. They used to be Wisconsin people. So they like, hey, they like bourbon and cheese. (laughs) I've always liked bourbon. I love bourbon flavored brandy. Brandy is good too. (laughs) Yeah. People from Wisconsin love their brandy. If you get outside of Wisconsin, I mean... Buffalo Trace. Ooh, Buffalo that's Trace. good. Very good. Buffalo Trace I don't know. Great choice. I hate bourbon and whiskey, so I'm like, you're naming all these, and I'm like, yeah, don't Wood- know. Woodford Reserve Woodford. is a good one. It's always my go-to. I hope it was rye. No, they do. No, they, no, they do. I think they do a rye, but they do. They I don't do think a they do a rye. <coughs> they just no? do variation of aging. I thought. Maybe they, 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 they have different mash bills. That's what it was. Um, okay, she's she's just under the chair. She's now. dead now. <laughs> She the dog is dead. Now. Trying to think of what other ones we were just on. We did some of the Bourbon Trail again this past summer. We're trying to think of where Kurt also likes bourbon, but did not specify what kind. I don't care. I love bourbon. I love wine. I love bourbon. What's the bourbon wine? I love wine I like aged in bourbon barrels. Ooh. The party <laughs> service has a private barrel of brandy that is one hundred and twenty-eight proof. Give me. Whoa. Can we give you our address and you'll send us a bottle? You actually like brandy? No, I don't. I love brandy. I love bourbon. I love whiskey. I love dark liquor. We'll trade you Georgia beer for brandy. Do you like the really cheap brandy, like Aristocrat? Uh, Kurt says he likes Knob Creek. Did you hear that? Knob Creek is good. Kurt says he likes Knob Creek. Okay, Knob Creek. Knob Creek is good. Maker's Mark. Maker's, 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 Maker's Mark. 46 is fantastic. Yep. This is me over I got, here. I got a what bottle is, of that. For, what they what felt like the, the whole that episode that was he feels now. No, that was whiskey. That was Jack Daniels. This is now how this I feel. We asked you all what you like, and we, I'm like, you're like, We are now a whiskey channel. <laughs> Change. Don't whiskey no. do us hard. Oh, it does not have the same ring to it. No. Also, I that, like that vodka and tequila because like I'm a white girl. Spinoff channel. Spin-off. I don't know. We'll do a spin-off. We're so, so like either of those. Excellent. You like wine. So I love wine. I'm you got basic. your basic girl. You, you and keep, pumpkin spice. You can keep your basic girl card with your wine and your pumpkin spice. And I keep <laughs> can keep mine with my vodka and tequila. <coughs> <coughs> because we like to make fun of like the pumpkin spice beers on our channel. I don't think it can do it. They're for I wine. may or may not still have one. Break it open. Make them drink okay, it. We're, what we're, is it? This is our last beer. Last beer, and then we're going to be done. But you guys sent us two pumpkin beers. Where did we get it from? From North Carolina. Oh, that's oh. right. We When we were... And apparently Dan said it was terrible. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Tell them that. God damn it's it. Terrible. Okay. Well, let's read the can. I'm not going to tell you the can date until we all drink it. <laughs> okay, so they sent us this from North Carolina. Hey, we went we to were one in random Raleigh, place. Charlotte. And the rest we of them they gave us was Charlotte. pretty good. We were in Charlotte. That was like six months ago. That was for the cheer wine festival. That was oh, May. Out of the I think that was May. Oh, yeah. Party Source said they reviewed that. I think that private barrel of brandy and copper and cool. King's Phoenix barrel. Oh, so that, that's a mouthful. I, he said not surfing for views. You can surf reviews. We don't care. Like we're we're a community. 
We like bourbon. He's so had this beer before. Smell. No, I had a sip of this beer. Okay, so this is called. He's had this beer. This is from Real Walk. Morgan Ridge Brewery in Erie. It's called Pumpkin Please. We Pumpkin were, Please. We it was really, a pretty cool little brewery, though. So we were sad. Out. They made a cheer wine beer. Just for that event, but they would only like pull it out of the tap. They, they didn't have any cans. Part, okay. part of their so nobody say was. anything so, until oh, everybody's okay, had it. Okay. Don't say anything. Just drink it and then don't say anything until everybody's had it. It still smells like pumpkin. That's powerful. I will say something about the smell. Don't give it away with your face either. Just I'm trying really just like hard. a really flat face. It's actually probably more fair for Sam to say something because she drinks a lot more cider than we do. That Oh, oh, my God. oh wait! <laughs> Matt, Matt, drink it. Um, Party Source <laughs> does love cheer wine. I cheer agree. wine is fantastic. What is we'll cheer wine? You guys we, they have it at um, Slow Hand, I the place above is. Poor Bros. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a soda. It's delicious. <laughs> it's a soda. Oh, you're right. No, okay, I know what that is. I like, I like Matt's face. So it's. I feel it's like a like, basic bitch here. It's well, got it's like so the basic tart. white girl. Yeah. Pumpkin-y yeah. nutmeg and allspice. Yes. But it's got like this cool. It tastes tart. It's, I don't think it's supposed to be. It's cider, so it's it's fortunate that it can be a Kurt little bit. Kurt agrees with the bearded fellow. I don't know about what, but he agrees with you. The basic is that he likes this. His beard is very agreeable. His beard is very agreeable. How could Look, you not? that again. Like, I mean, the basic would you want to disagree this. with a person with a beard like I'm sorry, that? Though. Probably not. The floral okay. language. I like the, I like the <laughs> pumpkin part, but can you tell them what the can date on that is? Because it is on the bottom. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, we got this in Love. the spring. Okay, this might help you. It says "Rip Tom Petty" on the bottom. <laughs> Does it really? Yeah. What? So R.I.P. Uh, Tom Petty. A lot of breweries actually like to put little messages little on the, on the bottom. bottom. Okay, do you do you know when Tom Petty died? No. Do it was more than that? a year ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> It was wild. Well, that's probably, so then, I mean, you okay. definitely said this more than a year ago. I don't remember. No, we were in Charlotte in May this year. <laughs> yeah, that was no. the Yeah, they were. They were, because we remember looking at it, and we're like, well, that's kind of old, but we'll drink it. The can date on this is 10-4, <laughs> 2017. This beer's <laughs> well oh over a year old. Why did they give us It's not a beer. It's a cider. It's fine. At this point, it's basically a cider. It's very tart. It does have good pumpkin oh, wait. flavor for being that old. Actually, it does say spice there. I thought it was a cider. No, no, it's, it's a spice It's a spice It's supposed mistake. to be a beer, but mistake. it tastes like a cider at this point. Why did they give us one that old? Because they knew you were noobs. <laughs> Jerks. I mean, when you walk in and just say, hey, I want. It's a little flat. Kurt at, so, it's Jewel, do you, know what, do you know what a Jewel is? You know That's jewel probably is. why I like it. Do you guys know what Jewel is? The the not the singer the, the grocery, grocery store. the grocery store oh oh Jewel Osco yeah. Yeah, yeah okay so apparently Kurt said Jewel had an IPA from February and it was <coughs> yuck and I agree <laughs> any IPA from February is gonna be yuck I mean a pumpkin spice oh. ale you could get some good ones you could get some this one at least can have the pumpkin spice flavor the rest of the beer was shit eat shit e sure okay because you said e I just said, yeah, all I can taste is pumpkin, pumpkin spice. The oh, basic very bitch in me loves it. All Sam can drink the rest of it. Because the rest of us are all like. That's so good on the way back up. But it was the place yeah. that made the cheer wine stuff, and I was really sad that we couldn't get you some. Yeah. That's the party fun. source said he would love to try a cheer wine beer. because Go to the cheer wine festival. There, apparently, there's a cheer wine festival. In what time was it? Who knew? May? June? May, I think, and it's in someplace in it's some little town outside of like Charlotte, North Carolina. It is in Salisbury, North Salisbury, Carolina. Salisbury, that's what it was. There Salisbury, you go. North Carolina. Go to Cheer Wine Festival. You can get some some beer. Kurt also said Makers 46. Which yeah, I think Makers 46 is something you like, agree on that. So I don't. I have had it like once. I Maybe feel twice. like I'm the odd man out now. You probably should have a few more whiskeys. Just you to... gotta take her to tastings. We have to no. go do the bourbon. I've trip. tried. I've my mom took me to and got me a flight of whiskey. No, and I tried like like these were good ones. They weren't like shit ones. And I was like, no. It took a couple of like 
bourbon trail tastings and then i caught on we haven't done, we haven't done any of them i've done bourbon beer because then you get the really expensive stuff that you'd never want to buy a bottle the tastings, of so you should have had some of my my dad's double black while you were there so like jack daniels does a tour there. to go back to the whiskey. sinatra one they they do they call it the angel share tour and it's each bottle retails for too the, much. I think it's three. Of, I think there was four tastings. Of ours. <coughs> the cheapest taste, the cheapest bottle was like seventy five or eighty bucks. And then it goes up from there. So there's, there's I like a, done there's a spit a, take. <coughs> there's a, there's a, a Jack Gold. Um, I, I feel a, uh, you. The Jack Sinatra, which is like the so top of the line. Say Jack Sinatra. Yep. Yeah. So it's Jack Daniels. Who? Oh, but it's with like, Sinatra. But like Sinatra. It's their Sinatra. Like, what Sinatra? It's their Sinatra. Is Jack Sinatra. Release. I don't know. That that's like, Sinatra just sang I into mean, it. To, to find a bottle better. of it someplace, hundred and a quarter, hundred and forty, hundred and fifty dollars a bottle. That's but the it's, thing about beer. We don't pay that much for beer. Super smooth. I mean, it was just. It was a fantastic. It was so but for some, I mean, for somebody like us who. I'm not going to go out and spend $150 on a bottle of whiskey. But, oh, I mean, but to have the opportunity to taste it. Yeah, that's, you just want to go a little sip. That's why the whole idea of like whiskey bars is actually kind of a neat idea because you get to try some of these rare ones like for a lot less of the cost than just investing in a whole bottle. Yeah, because I mean, on the flip side, if you don't like it, you now have an open bottle. That you just got there, to fucking deal now, with. No, no. There, <coughs> there is an aftermarket for open whiskey bottles, especially ones that aren't in production anymore. But... You could talk I to Jake. I don't know. I'm game still for I have a dog in my crotch. Uh, a couple. What is the we could do another the one session with. Really oh, Pappy? Pappy. Jason. Yeah, that'd be, a, that'd be a pipe dream. Yeah. I know. One day. At some point. One day. All right. What do you think? We are ready to wrap this shit up. The dogs are getting anxious. Are. Anyway, thank you to everyone for sticking around for our Till Beer Do They Part video. This is the first. Lovely tangent. Of many oh, amazing. No, that's what we, we want to do. We like this. longer segment ones. This is a little bit more like a podcast out. kind of. Yes. No editing, though. No. no editing. That's not fun. Just find some more non beer drinkers. We're more fun. Are they that? Yeah, we are. You got awful tall. I was going to say, Gus, you got awful tall. So. No, he's just. <laughs> Gus. Uh, here comes the little one. Uh, Gussie, say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Say bye. bye. Gussie, say bye bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Have a good we night. We'll see you next time. Look at it. Soonish. Hi, Baba. Were you hiding under the bed?